All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a quick, effective core workout that's gonna lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition all the muscles in your midsection. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. You can come back and do this Amazing Ab workout anytime. Now, we are gonna start in a crab position. So this is a challenging position for your upper body, your core, even a little bit of your lower body. You want your hands below your shoulders and your feet digging your heels into the floor. Now keeping your neck long, shoulders shouldn't shrug up to your ears. We're gonna lift up and hold. So crab, arms are straight, elbows are soft, so we don't wanna laugh or hyperextend those elbows. Shoulders are low and relaxed, our neck is long and lean, and think about your head just being an extension of your spine. So nice and relaxed, chin is level, we are breathing. We're holding crab, but we're not holding our breath. Belly is sucking in, flexing through your core muscles. We don't wanna stick our stomach out. We wanna keep that core engaged, training the muscles to contract inward. Digging the heels into the floor, breathing. Now we are past halfway. This is a long hold. Your arms might be starting to feel a little warm, and that's a good thing. Keep that engagement through your core. 10 seconds. We got this long neck. Strong core. Breathing. Four, three, two, one. Great job holding your hamstrings. Let's lay back to the floor. Fingertips behind our ears. Lifting up to a hover. Basic crunch. Up for two. Lower to a hover. Exhale up. Inhale lower. So chin is still level. We're looking up at the ceiling on an angle. Elbows are out nice and wide. Feel like you're stretching your head to the wall behind you, not rounding up, but contracting the core to lift your upper body. Belly is still sucking in towards the spine like it was during our crab. Exhale and inhale. Now single, contract, hover. These are a little fast. We wanna make sure we're using muscle, not momentum. So contract, control, lift, hover, inhale, and exhale. If it feels too fast, slow it down or at your own pace. That is what matters most. Breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna crunch towards your left and center. Two counts, let's go slow first. Up for two and hover, up for two and hover, up for two, and hover. Let's do four more, this side only. And hover, up for two, and hover. Exhale, and inhale one more, nice and slow. Keeping that core engaged, singles towards your left. Two sets of eight is the maximum number of reps. If it feels too fast, though, so you might do 10, you might do 12. This is your core workout. Feel those abdominals starting to burn. Breathing through every rep. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's go towards your right. Two counts, up for two. Lower to the hover. Up for two. Lower to the hover. Belly is sucking in towards your spine. Shin is off your chest. Exhale, and inhale, four more, keep this pace, lift, lift, lower to the hover, lift, and lower to the hover, two more, exhale, and inhale, last one, exhale, all right, singles, this side only, two sets of eight, that's the max, inhale, and exhale, do a body check. Make sure you're still sucking your belly in. You're still keeping your shoulders low and relaxed. Elbows out, nice and wide. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna slow it down and we're gonna go corner to corner towards your left, back to the hover, towards your right. Back to the hover. This is a lot of repetition. Focus on good form. That's when you get great results. Corner to corner, four more. Nice and slow, nice and strong. Fingertip holds, elbows out wide. Exhale up, 
Inhale, hover. Exhale, up. Single tempo, corner to corner. Left, center, right. Keep your legs nice and stationary so you're not moving your feet, you're not moving your knees, not moving your hips. The torso is contracting and turning. Keep it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Best one. Back to center. Reach those arms overhead. Extend your legs out straight. Couple of nice deep breaths. So if you were keeping pace, that was 100 crunches. We're gonna go back to our crab. 60 seconds. Now you can do the exact same thing. We are all gonna start holding crab, but then there's gonna be a progression if you need more. Here we go, lift and hold. Crab. Arms are straight, but elbows are soft. We're not locking. How do you feel? This is 60 seconds, it's a long time, so you can stay here. If you want more, try extending one leg, then the other leg. Okay, if you feel stable, try the arm, maybe opposite arm, opposite foot. Extending, still holding a really good crab. Now, maybe arms only. See how that feels. Maybe you're doing both, but you're only lifting your arms a little. There's so many options so that you can get the challenge you need right now. We only have 20 seconds left. It's not a sprint. We're not trying to go super fast. We're just trying to go at our own pace so we're using muscle, not momentum. Strengthening the core. Long neck. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's roll back, holding your hamstrings. We're gonna do one more set of crunches. 100 is the maximum. You might not do that many and that's fine, but just know what the max is and find your place within that maximum. Lift to your hover, basic crunch. Up for two, down for two. Exhale and inhale. So we're going back to basics, back to the basic crunch. Feeling that length, stretching your head to the wall behind you. Chin is off your chest. Exhale and inhale. Up for two, lower to the hover. Looking up at the ceiling at an angle, breathing. Single tempo, basic crunches, lift, lift. Great job. The single tempo pace is the fastest you should go. If you slow it down a little, or even if you slow it down a lot, that is a great thing if you can keep better form. Because better form gets better results. It's not about reps. It's not about speed. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. All right, slow it down towards the right first. Up to first two. Back to the same hover. Leading with the shoulder, not pulling with that left arm. Exhale. Inhale, sucking the belly in. Four more, nice and slow. Contract, up, lower to the hover. Contract, up, lower to the hover. Exhale, and inhale one more, nice and slow. Towards the right, back to the hover. Single, two sets of eight. It's getting harder, so if I'm gonna keep pace, I'm not crunching quite as high. If I wanted a bigger range of motion, I would slow it down to keep good form. Eight, seven, inhale, exhale. We've got four, three, two. Okay, left side, slow it down, contract, up, lower to the hover, contract, up, lower to the hover, exhale, and inhale. Elbows up nice and wide, leading with the shoulder, four, that hover in the middle is the same, whether we're doing a basic crunch, whether we're focusing on one side, or whether we're alternating corner to corner. Stay on the left side, single, two, set, of eight. 
four left. Three, four, Ooh. inhale, and exhale. Contract, cover, contract, cover. Eight, seven, six, five, contract, no swinging, no bouncing, focus on that core. Slow it down, corner to corner, towards the right, back to the hover. This is it for crunches. Final push. So make sure you've got great form. Exhale and inhale, leading with the shoulder. Keep the elbow out wide, hover at the bottom. Keep the elbow out wide, hover at the bottom. Neck is long, try not to strain the neck. Neck is supporting the head, but the core is contracting to lift the body. Single. Right, left. No bouncing, nice neutral spine at the bottom, without arching, without rounding. Inhale, and exhale. Right, hover, left, hover. Inhale, and exhale. We're almost there. Eight, seven, six, five. Last one, four more. Cover two and one. Reach those arms up, extend those legs out. Couple of nice deep breaths. So another hundred crunches in the book. We are done with the crunches. We have one more crab left. Holding your hamstrings, round it up. Options. So we're all going to start holding crab. You're going to have the option to do that alternating reach. And there's one more progression we can do. Ready? Lift and hold. Crab, that's where it starts. If you're not in a good crab, don't even think about adding anything yet. Build your strength so you can hold a good crab for 60 seconds. If you need more, we can do that alternating hand to toe. Maybe just the legs, maybe just the arms. Maybe the arms are small. If you still need more, full layout at the bottom. And then we come up and touch. Full layout on the bottom. Come up and touch. It's opposite hand, opposite foot. Don't overthink it. If you try to put the same side down, you won't be able to lift up. Breathing. We're past halfway. Whichever option you need right now. We're going at a decent pace. Fast enough that it's a challenge, but not so fast that you lose momentum. And the bigger your range of motion, the slower the speed is going to look. But it feels like I'm sprinting. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. And done. Everybody lay it out. Reach through the fingers, stretch through the toes. Couple of nice deep breaths. Feel that length. Bending the knees. You're going to hold underneath the calves. Pulling your knees to your chest, feeling that stretch down your hamstrings, around your glutes, into your lower back. Holding your hamstrings, round up nice and slow. Hands to your shins. Let's round and release. Round and release. One more. Round and release. Fantastic job, workout worthy. That was a quick, effective core workout. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Your exercise does not need to be extreme, but it does need to be consistent. So come back and join me for this amazing ad workout anytime.